Okay, let's get started on this very, very basic tutorial on Adobe After Effects CS3. I wanted to do my first tutorial on this as I'm still learning the product, so I'm still learning. If there's anything you see in this that I should uh, change, please post a comment or get in contact with me. So what I'm going to do here, we've got uh, Adobe After Effects open. Now because I'm just going to do something with text, I'm just going to go up to comp Composition and New. Now, if you have videos or anything like that that you're going to get import and you're really into this, this is not the way you want to start a new, uh, a new composition. That's a different way, different tutorial I'll show you. So, let's go ahead and name. We'll just name this Tutorial 1. This tells that it's going to be set for 30 seconds really not going to use much of 30 seconds I just want to bring something up just to show you here's the frame rate and we're going to leave the width and height that so now that we have this what we're going to do is just go up to layer new text as you can see this brings up this text layer now I'm going to press my text tool here I'm going to click in here and I'm going to put in John Costanzo. Let's move this over here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to effects and presets and we're going to type in blur. We're going to scroll down to fast blur. Now what you're going to want to do is click and hold and actually drag over the name. Okay. Now, right now you're looking at it, you're saying, what did that do? There's nothing changed. Let's go over to here to the blurness. You can either hit the drop down and use this or you can just slide here. See look at that, if I slide in and out, it's going to blur the text out. So what we're going to do is before we do that, is I'm going to come over here and I am going to click on that. If you've ever worked with Flash before, that is inserting a keyframe. Now it's a little bit different than in Flash because you would insert a keyframe every place you'd go. It's a little bit different here. So what you do here is let's move the blurness up there, eh, not too much. Okay, then we're gonna we're gonna move at a right around two seconds. Now normally you would insert another keyframe. Now we're not going to do that. We're just going to change this more. Then we're gonna come a little bit more and we're gonna blur it some more. We're going to come here, and we're going to blur it all the way out. Then, let's move to about here. We're going to move it back into place. and there. So now if I go back to the beginning of my video and I press play as you can see look there it's fading away and Here it comes back. So, like I said, um, not really an exciting thing to do, but there, there's the beginning of kind of getting yourself around a little bit, and there's a lot more you can do, and you can add other type of effects if you wish. Um, for example, let's say from here you can throw in V 
just trying to find something here we can do.